big old nation guy, Coach Tim Billingsley here, defense back coach, Southern Miss. Coach, uh, about three questions. All I'm going to ask you is three questions with the coach. Number one, what do uh, the defensive backs this week have to do do a better job in coverage against this very good Texas San Antonio wide receiver core and running back core? Well, you know, one number one thing for us, the receiving core, we, get, we just can't give up any big plays. You know, they're going to make some plays. And the key is you just you got to tackle them, uh, get them down, and make them line up, snap the ball again. Usually it's hard for an offense to go 10 or 12 plays to score. So, uh, you know, obviously when we had our, we'll, we'll get some opportunities. When we get those opportunities, we got to take advantage of them. Uh, and then if uh, they do complete a pass, we just got to tackle them, get out, and make them snap it again. Now, the second question, right quick, is. Talk about how a defensive line and D-backs, it almost has to be like a marriage of work together when it comes to coverage because you need to get the quarterback because nobody's going to be able to cover somebody for seven seconds down the field. Well, I always say the best coverage is hard for a quarterback to throw the ball on his back, you know, and so, uh, you know, one thing about it, we do have a, an excellent defensive line, and, of course, they're very good on their offensive line, uh, but we do have to get pressure. You know, when you get pressure on, on the quarterback and hopefully – uh, in the secondary, do some things to, to make him make a bad decision or two and take advantage of it. So, uh, but uh, a, de a defensive line, a great defensive lineman, is a defensive back's best friend. And the last question is about recruiting. I know you can't talk about who, but uh, just tell everybody you're really busy here lately getting out. I mean, I know a lot of kids. Talk about how hard it is to, you know, for a coach, you've got to coach and recruit. And, you know, a lot of people don't understand that. They know, you know, we're on the phones at night and, uh, you know, just like uh, the Southern game, I was gone all weekend. Got back Saturday morning for the game. Went to uh, we went to Louisiana Monroe. I was on the road uh, that weekend, and I got back uh, late Friday night into Louisiana. And then our off week, you know, I was gone to uh, Louisiana and Texas, and I didn't get back until Sunday in time for for uh, uh, our meetings on Sunday night as a coaching staff. So. You know, everybody thinks, well, it's great you got an off weekend. I wasn't even at home. So, uh, yeah, it's – it's uh, and plus it's, it's getting close to that time before everybody's making decisions and signing dates. We've got an early signing date in December now. So uh, it's kind of escalated everything. And so it's 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 been a, an interesting uh, few months. Well, Coach Billings, we appreciate you stopping by with us. Best of luck to you this week. And uh, good luck recruiting. And uh, Saturday at UTSA, sir. Thanks. Go Golden Eagles. Thank